How many games will the 49ers win this year? They're currently three and four. They have Dallas next week. They should beat Dallas. But just because they should beat Dallas doesn't mean they will beat Dallas. Now, fortunately for the Niners, the Niners are a soft, overpaid, dysfunctional mess. Well, so is Dallas. And the thing about Dallas is they will quit when things go bad. The Niners fight. They played like crap in this game, but they didn't quit. They just played like crap and were coached like crap. But the, the, the Cowboys will straight up quit when things don't go their way. They're soft. They get pushed around. Dak is terrible, and he's going to Dak, but then Kyle's going to Kyle. So it's, it's a competition. Who will, will Dak, Dak harder than Kyle Kyle's? It's, it's a tough one. But I think this is a team that's going to win one and lose one. Everyone's writing them off. They'll get it together. They'll play the, the Cowboys. Everyone will crown them. Oh, my God. Are they back? No. They're 4-4. Four and four. How many times are we going to have to hear this season, are the 49ers back because they won one game and they've reached 500? No. No, they're not back. They're a dysfunctional mess. They're not a team. They're a collection of talent, and they're checked out. So... This has the hallmarks of an eight-win team, maybe nine. And it's hard to even call them a team. But this is what an overpaid, overrated, mediocre team whose coach has lost the locker room looks like. This is what it looks like. Eight and nine, nine and eight. Incoming. And again, maybe that's enough to win the NFC West. I don't know. Seahawks won today. They beat the Falcons. Falcons suck. Seahawks aren't much better. I don't take them seriously. But I'll take the Niners seriously. The Niners haven't beaten one good team this year. They lost to two. Let's look at the Niners' schedule. Let's see where they're going to win. How many games are they actually going to win this year? So let's say they win next week against Dallas. Bye week. Go to Tampa. I think they lose that one. Four and five. Then they got Seattle again. Five and five. Go to Green Bay. Lose. Go to Buffalo. Lose. Five and seven. Bears. You know, let's say they beat the Bears. Let's say they beat the Rams. Let's say they beat the, 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 the Dolphins. Now they're, what? Six and, man, I hate math. Six and seven? Seven and six. Seven and six. They lose to Detroit. Damn it, let me do the math again. Okay, so they're three and three. Three and four. They beat Dallas four and four. Lose to Tampa four and five. Beat the Seahawks five and five. Lose to the Packers, lose to the Bills five and seven. Beat the Bears, Rams, Dolphins eight and seven. Lose to the Lions eight and eight beat the Cardinals 9-8, and eight, or lose to the Cardinals 8-9, and nine, right? This team's going freaking nowhere. And let's say they luck out and, and get a 10th game, or they win the, the division with 9, they'll lose in the wild card round or the, or the divisional round. You know why? Because the 49ers aren't good. They're what you call a bad team. That's all I really got to say. I didn't want to go too crazy tonight. Because it's serious. Jed York's watching. Denise is watching. Sean York is watching. And they're trying to figure out what do we do about this team. Good question. You're screwed. Right now. Because you should have fired Kyle Shanahan after he lost the Super Bowl. But you didn't. Instead, you extended Brandon Ayuk. You extended Christian McCaffrey. And you extended Trent Williams who punched a guy in the face today and got extend, and got ejected. So you made all the wrong decisions, but so this, this season is pretty much screwed. It's going to be interesting. It's going to go down to the wire, but you, you know, we know, we all know this team's going nowhere. So once it plays out and you see that they haven't gone anywhere, you fire Kyle, you keep Brock, you don't extend him, don't extend him, you keep Brock, you draft a quarterback. No, 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 no. What you do is you fire Kyle, you keep Brock. No, 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 no. You fire Kyle, you hire Ben Johnson, and then you let him do whatever he wants. If he wants to keep Brock, great. If he wants to trade Brock, great. Whatever he wants. I trust Ben Johnson. I don't trust Janice. Janice. That's a combination of Jed and Denise. I don't trust Janice York. I don't. They don't know what they're doing. I know what I'm doing. I'm quality control. And I'm telling you, Ben Johnson's the one. Let him make the decisions. Me and Ben will make the decisions from now on. I'll be his number two. I'll be, I'll be the assistant head coach. 
I'll take assistant head coach. Assistant to the head coach. And then you guys will all love me because I'll be helping the 49ers win, which is what I do all the time. Let me ask you something. What helps the Niners win more? Saying that they're the greatest and they can do no wrong and that they're basically the best team, win or lose, or some real quality control? You tell me. Eight wins.